By now, most of us have been hearing lots about testing for COVID-19. Some of the tests are called serology tests. So why do we care about serological testing with COVID-19? What is an LFA test? What do the results mean? Well, we know that the COVID-19 virus is a member of the coronavirus family. And we also know that generally when you have a viral infection, you generate antibodies to that virus. It's the serological tests that we use to determine if you have those antibodies and therefore might have some immunity. After a viral infection like COVID-19, we generally make IgM antibodies about five to six days into the infection. A few days later, we start to make IgG antibodies. IgM antibodies are called early phase antibodies and they're the first to arrive and they're the first to leave. IgG antibodies are called late phase and they hang around often for years. These are what gives us immunity. Serology tests can be performed with a drop of blood on a paper material which has some indicator lines on it. These are called LFA tests or lateral flow assays. Sometimes they're just strips like pool chemical tests. Sometimes the tests are in small plastic pouches. Typically, we add a drop of blood from a finger prick to the test unit. Antibodies in your blood wick up through the paper material. If IgM antibodies are present, a line will appear here. If IgG antibodies are present, a line will appear here. If the assay system is working properly, a control line will appear as well. Some devices have two sides instead of one. One side of the device is for IgM and the other side for IgG. When you add a drop of blood, if IgM antibodies are present, you'll see a line here. And this suggests a patient was likely exposed to COVID-19 virus and is making early phase antibodies. On the IgG side, a line suggests a patient may well have been previously exposed to COVID-19 virus and may have some level of immunity. So what does it all mean? Let's look at some examples. This person has a positive IgM line, but no IgG. This person is probably in mid-stage of COVID-19 virus infection and may still be infectious. In the second case, all lines are present. This person has both IgM and IgG antibodies and so has recently been infected and still could be infectious, but likely is gaining some immunity. The next person has only a positive IgG line. This person has IgG antibodies, but not IgM antibodies. This is assuming that IgM was also tested. This indicates that they have had COVID-19 virus and most likely are immune based on current knowledge of most viruses. The Food and Drug Administration has so far approved seven serology tests, and I've listed them below. You'll see some companies make a test for both IgM and IgG, and some only for IgG. These are the only tests approved for use in the USA at the moment. So remember that all tests can have false positive and false negative results and it is critical to check with your physician for interpretation of tests finally purdue does not endorse any company or test and this video is provided for general information only